lot of fabric. I have a whole storage box of fabric and I also have a lot of clothes that I want. So in this video, I'm going to be DIYing my online clothing store wish list, mostly Sheen and Romwe. Hopefully this isn't a failure because I actually want to wear the stuff that I'm planning to make and also get rid of my fabric because I have too much and I also want to buy new fabric but I can't buy new fabric until I get rid of the fabric that I already have. Anyways, let's get started. I hadn't sewn in a while so I had to take off everything that had accumulated onto my fabric bin including this pile mountain of like 20 mangas that I really need to return to the library. I'm currently reading Kimini Todoke, I don't know if I said that right but if you read manga please give me suggestions in the comments. So the first thing I'm gonna make is this dress using this fabric. If I'm being honest, I don't really like this fabric. I actually hate it, but my dad bought it for me last summer and I still have it. And some other people I know actually like this fabric. So I'm just hoping that once this is actually a dress and not just a strip of fabric, I'll actually like it. Um, hopefully, who knows. Before I started, I needed to actually make the pattern for the dress, so I took a tank that had the same silhouette as the dress, and I traced it onto some newspaper with some pencil, and then outlined it with marker so I could actually see the lines. Then with a different colored marker, I added a 1.5 inch seam allowance on the sides and a half inch seam allowance around the straps. After I did this, I did the same thing again, but instead of tracing the front of the tank, I traced the back of the tank onto some newspaper. I also traced a waistband piece that was to go under the front piece, and just so that this makes a lot more sense, here's the pattern and the dimensions that I used. For the front piece, I added 7 inches to the width because I will be ruching it to give the chest this effect right here. So after bringing her out, I sewed a straight stitch along the bottom of the front piece and do not back stitch or else the ruching will not work. To ruch the bottom edge, I chose one single piece of thread on one side to pull and I did this until the width of the front piece was 7 inches shorter. I tried to focus all the ruching towards the middle to make it look like the dress. After ruching it enough, I tied a knot three times using the piece of pieces of thread on both ends to make sure that nothing undid itself. Then I did the same thing along the top edge between the straps. Using an iron, I padded the front piece down so that everything would stay flat. After this, I pinned and sewed the waistband to the bottom edge of the chest piece, making sure that I sewed above the thread I used for ruching. And then I did a zigzag stitch along the raw edge. And I realized I had made the back piece way too big, so I cut off 4 inches from the middle and 2 from the sides. And then I just attached the back piece to the front piece. And lastly, I sewed the straps together. Okay, so here's an update on the dress. Um, so far it looks like this. I am kind of scared that, like, the top is going to be too small and it's not going to close because, as you can see, they don't even touch, like, the two ends don't even touch and I haven't even added the zipper, so hopefully this will just work out. This actually isn't going that badly so far because usually more stuff goes wrong but like I think the top looks pretty decent. If it would just fit that would be great. But now I'm going to start on the skirt and then we're going to attach it, add the zipper, and then take care of all these seams. So to make the skirt, first I found the diameter of my waist by using this formula right here. I know math. My waist was 28 inches, so the diameter was 9. Then from the corner of the fabric, I measured out 9 inches from edge to edge, and I cut along the circular line that I made. I measured out how long I wanted the skirt to be, then I cut it in a circular shape. I kind of eyeballed it instead of tracing a line because I'm lazy, and I don't recommend doing that since my skirt ended up being uneven. After this, I pinned the top of the dress to the skirt, and I sewed along the edge. Thank you. 
I was too lazy to finish this yesterday, so it's the next day. Yesterday, I stopped after shortening the waistband by like two inches because it just looked so awkward and the length was so bad. But this is what it looks like now. It's too long. <laughs> so I'm going to be cutting it to like probably my lower thigh. Also, this dress really makes me feel like a mom, so it's definitely getting shorter. Definitely obliterating the skirt. <laughs> I'm ironing the skirt because it was wrinkly as hell, and then I double hemmed the bottom edge of the skirt. I needed to take care of the raw edges along the neckline and the straps, so I cut out a rectangular piece of fabric, ironed it in half, and then ironed the edges in. And I was watching an episode of JoJo's at the time, and this one line caught me so off guard, bro, you need to hear it. Then I'll cut off your dick and rip out your guts to finish you off! Then I just pinned and sewed that piece of fabric that I just ironed along the neckline and the straps. So I just sewed on the zipper. I love this dress so much, but especially the skirt, because I just love the way that the skirt is just like... I don't know how to explain it, but it's so cute. I, I love the length. It's just the sleeves are a little bit long, so it makes the boobs look like really droopy and not right. So I got to take off like, I think like four inches from each sleeve. But after that, it's going to look so good. Oh my God. Like this is literally so cute. And also the back is kind of longer. I actually did that by accident. So I don't have to like clench my cheeks every time I think my butt's about to show or something. Oh my God. I love it so much. Like I didn't expect to like the dress. And I honestly just think that red really complements my skin tone. So anyways, I'm going to fix the sleeves and you guys are going to see the reveal at the end. I'm so excited, bro. Oh yeah, also, just one more thing, this sleeve is a little bit thicker, like maybe like one centimeter thicker than this sleeve, and that really bothers me, but it's fine. I'll get over it. Now that I'm done the dress, we're gonna be moving on to part two of this video, which is making a tennis skirt. I feel like tennis skirts have been trending for so long, and I think they're so cute, but I don't have one. My mom gave me this navy blue fabric. I don't know what type of fabric it is, but it's thick and I feel like it would be such good fabric to make a tennis skirt out of, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm so excited to wear this. I have so many outfits in my head that I'm gonna make with this tennis skirt. I have so many tennis skirt outfits pinned on Pinterest, like I am ready. Honestly, I don't know why I haven't made a tennis skirt yet, but that's what I'm doing today and probably tomorrow. <laughs> The width of the fabric I cut out is 3 times my waist and I made the length 17 inches although it ended up being short and I should have cut it a couple inches longer. I used a fork to make the folds in the tennis skirt and pin them in place. I was supposed to double hem along the bottom edge before doing this but I kind of forgot to and after I finished with the folds I ironed everything down. Text back saying sorry I'm drunk, why do I even try? Argue in circles for hours, cause what else can we do? After double hemming it the next morning, I extended the folds to the bottom, pinning them in place and ironing them down. Then I sewed along the top edge to keep the folds in place. After this, it was time to make this a true tennis skirt. So I measured four inches down the top of the skirt with some fabric chalk and sewed along the edge of each fold until the four inch mark. The skirt ended up being about 5 inches too wide, so I ended the folds and cut some of it off. Next, I cut out the waistband, and I think I made the length about 5 inches, but I honestly don't remember. I folded it in half and ironed the edges in, and then I pinned and sewed along the top edge of the skirt.
Lastly, I just added the zipper and this was actually a really simple project, so 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now that I'm done with the tennis skirt, the next thing I'm going to be making is a pair of corduroy pants. And like the tennis skirt, I'm so excited to make these because I've been wanting a pair of corduroy pants for so long. And I feel like I've had the longest obsession with corduroy, but I don't actually own anything that's corduroy. So I'm just really excited for these. And the color! Oh my god, I'm obsessed with the color because I don't have anything that's this color. Let me just show you guys. This is the color. This is like a tan color very like cowboy vibes in my opinion and i'm so excited for these pieces of fabric to actually be pants for these pants i'm not making my own pattern or like following a tutorial or anything i'm using an actual pattern because i've tried to make pants like proper proper pants many times and it never went well i actually started this in either december or january but i just never found the time to finish it so that's what i'm doing now let me just stop talking and actually start sewing this is not a tutorial because 90% of the time I had absolutely no fucking clue what I was doing and it took every last ounce of the power in my two brain cells to comprehend the instructions manual. So instead of trying to explain what I did, we're gonna have a mini story time. When I was 9 years old, my friends and I wanted to start a clothing brand called Pile for Style and we had plans to advertise it in the school with brochures and a fashion show at an assembly. I really don't know what we were thinking, but we needed someone to sew the clothes we planned to sell, so that's when I started saving up for a sewing machine. I had like no ways of getting money other than my birthdays, so my dad made a deal with me that for every chapter book I read and could provide him a summary of, he would would give me two dollars. I started reading so much and eventually I was getting like 20 to 30 dollars a week just from reading. After months I had saved like 350 dollars and I bought my sewing machine. I think a couple weeks later my friends and I went up to my grade 4 teacher with some of the clothes I had made asking if she could ask the principal if we could sell the clothes to the school. And mind you we were nine so everything looked like absolute shit and I'm pretty sure she was trying to hold in her laughter. Obviously, it did not happen. But anyways, that's the story of how I got my sewing machine and where my dreams of wanting to become a fashion designer died back to the main program. I just have two more things to do before I'm done with these pants. So the first thing I have to do is make a buttonhole on the waistband and the second thing I have to do is insert the button and then I'm done. Like. I may have to cut some threads because I didn't really do that throughout the whole process, but then I'm done. I just want this to be done. I have messed up so many things. And also I'm so hungry, but like I don't wanna I don't wanna stop and then eat and then like continue these pants. I just gotta get it done. And I have work in like two and a half hours and I have to leave in like an hour and a half, so I don't know how exactly I'm gonna get this button on because I've tried before, didn't go very well, um, but you know, we'll figure it out. You guys are basically just figuring everything out with me along the way. This is the like jean button that I have and I gotta get this in here. Damn. It's not working. I did it. I did it, guys. I did it. Oh my god. So the last item I'm gonna be making in this video is a corduroy tote bag because I'm a hoe for some corduroy. So first thing I did was cut out two pieces of 17 by 15 inch fabric and ironed it out because it was so wrinkly. I was supposed to zigzag stitch the raw edges at this point but I forgot to. Then I cut out a 3 by 50 inch piece of fabric so I could wear the tote as a crossbody and two 3 by 25 pieces of fabric for the handles. And lastly, I wanted to have a pocket at the front of my tote so I could put my phone and other things in it. So I cut out a 10 by 7 inch rectangle and a 7 by 5 and a half inch rectangle. 
And here are the dimensions of everything I used. After ironing everything, I hemmed one edge of the pocket and ironed it like this so it would be more spacious. For the other piece of fabric I cut out for the pocket, I folded it in half with the right sides facing each other, sewed along the sides, folded it inside out, and then did a zigzag stitch along the raw edge, and then I just pinned and sewed the pocket to the tote. After this, I ironed the straps in half with the wrong sides facing each other and sewed along the edge. I pinned and sewed the 25 inch straps 3 inches from the top edge and with the right sides facing up, I flipped the straps upwards and then sewed along the top edge again. And lastly, I cut out a 2 inch square from each bottom corner of the tote and sewed the sides of the tote together. <laughs> so I just sewed on the straps and when I was sewing, I realized two things. One, I forgot to like zigzag this raw edge, so it's kind of too late to do that, um, but at least it's hidden. And the second thing is I forgot to attach this strap before I brought down this hem so I'm just going to like attach it and like box it in so hopefully it won't come off or anything. The last thing I'm going to be doing is matching up the two corners on the squares that I cut out and sewing. Uh, excuse me. It's time for the reveal! I love everything about this dress, the color, the skirt, I think it's so flattering on me, but I still hate the pattern so I will definitely be remaking this with fabric that I actually like. I paired them with my very dirty Converse, but I think they would look better with some white sneakers or sandals. I also love this tennis skirt, but the fabric is too thick so the pleats aren't as defined as I would like them to be and it's so short in the back so I'm going to be remaking this with different fabric and a little bit longer. Can we talk about the outfit and the monochromatic action though? Like I think it's so cute and I feel like I belong in a rich private school. The pants look good as long as you don't look at the top. The length, the color, and the fit is perfect, and I will be remaking these with my white and navy blue corduroy. The tote bag would literally be perfect if I hadn't forgotten to hem the raw edge before sewing it. I also added some buttons to it, and I love that I can close it now at the pocket. It's literally the perfect size, and yes, I will be that bitch walking around campus with my tote bag. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know which piece was your favorite. Personally, I think I like the pants the most because I think I'll get the most wear out of it. Also, let me know if you'd like a part two because I have over a hundred things on my wish list waiting to be DIY. Wow. Bye! I'm out of here.